uh, H bomber guy. He created a a ruckus. Um, I will summarize very quickly the point of his video. Uh, he talks about plagiarism on YouTube. How in the endless content churn of all these uh, all these YouTubers who have like high video output that they cut corners and they plagiarize articles and they use other people's work as a script to build a video off of with less work, no credit and no um, profit sharing with the original author. He starts off with a proven case of plagiarism that was from an IGN guy a couple years back. Uh, and then he ends like half the video is just this guy who does like, I don't even know how to describe it. He's like a, he describes himself as like a queer media social commentary critic. And he talks about how everything is gay for whatever reason. Like that's his entire thing. Very popular. And obviously H bomber guy being a, a faggot uh, is into that kind of shit. Uh, but he basically ruins this guy's career because he's already deleted all of his social media, took down his Patreon, deleted thousands of like views worth of videos on his uh, YouTube. Um, his name was James Summerton, by the way. He's the queer media critic. And he basically proved beyond a, a reasonable doubt, as far as I'm concerned, that this guy um, basically just stole articles, stole excerpts from books, stole anything that he could get his hands on, and then integrated that into a video, slapped some stills, some screenshots on top of it, recorded himself reading other people's words, and then put it on YouTube and made lots and lots and lots of money as a LGBT creator, SAS, pumped into the algorithm on the platform. Um, and I think most people would agree that that's not acceptable. The one that got hairy and that got a lot of people yelling at me and became a thing on Twitter that people are yelling at each other about is Internet uh, Historian. Internet Historian, for the most part, hasn't plagiarized anything. There's one specific part of one of his videos um, where it's a story about a Kentucky cave diver. Uh, who uh, got contorted in a really terrible way and uh, died horrifically. And for the most part, this is uh, Internet Historian's original work. However, he word for word reads a mental floss article um, about this exact same thing. And not only does he read it word for word, but he actually animates um, parts of the article. And people took issue with me agreeing that... Um, that was plagiarism and he should have paid here's what i believe that he should have done he should have um number one he should have done it to begin with but after he was called out damage is done he should have paid the guys from mental floss a portion of the money that he had earned over the months that this video was up and the millions of views that it accumulated probably resulting in six figures plus worth of, of ad revenue and other support i believe that he should have paid the art the writers for the work that he had copied, uh, which helped make his video as successful as it was. Um, who, who gives a shit the authors that he stole from? That's why. Uh, they wrote this fucking thing to make money. This guy takes the thing that they made to make money, makes money with it, and pretends that they had no part in it. They don't even get exposure. And I think that he should have made things right by actually purchasing the rights to the parts that he read and the, the script that he animated. Um, and left the original video up because what he did instead is after getting called out, he didn't fight the DMCA claim, but he brought up a, um, he changed the, the dialogue of these parts to a less, um, less po artistically creative, less, uh, interesting way. He made an inferior copy of his own work, re-uploaded that in its place and then left, uh, by the way, parts of this were inspired by this article. Uh, instead of compensating them. And I think that's a dick move. And that's my entire point. Uh, intellectual property is gay. However, I think that for, that's mostly because of how the law works. Is that it's extremely fucking gay. You and I, as people, realize that it is unethical to take somebody else's work and then make money off of it. And then pretend that you're not, he didn't even, in the original edit, he didn't even acknowledge that he had taken shit word for word for these other people. Whatever you want to say about the law, and I would say that it's plagiarism and this copyright theft under the, the law in the United States, which is why he didn't try to, to fight it or file a counter DMCA. He instead took it down and re-uploaded it. Um, it is unethical to, to take people's stuff. That's a... Uh, 
XQC based Josh 10 minutes ago. My, my distinction with XQC is that he plays a video in its place. So it's sort of like what I'm doing. I have a screen open. You can see the source. You can see exactly what I'm watching. If you want to go watch what I'm looking at, you can easily find it based on the information that's on your screen. I'll put up his thing so you can see it. Um, I'm not saying that he's base. I'm just saying that I think I, 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 I'm not even being ironic. I think that what XQC did is less copyright infringement than what internet historian did because uh, if I can even find this, yeah, sure. Like this, you can see what he's seeing. You can see the author of it. You can see, um, and it's like a live stream. So you, you, you just watch it live and then you're done with it. And it's not really successful as a VOD. It's just there as a VOD. And very few people are going to, um, go out of their way to watch this cheese, garlic bread with honey dip recipe on XQC's VOD versus going to the delicious day cooking channel and seeing it there. Whereas internet historian has created a video that fully um, replaces the need to read the original article by publishing it as a video for the same market without even crediting the original source. I feel like it's very cut and dry that that is less acceptable than somebody who's just doing live reactions to garlic bread videos. Cause this guy is not replacing the original market for delicious day. In fact, he's advertising her channel and her garlic bread to his viewers. Internet historian took somebody else's work and then tried to disguise it as his own and sold it and made a fuck ton of money. And when called out, just changed it and didn't give them shit. And then said, Oh yeah, by the way, they kind of inspired this. And I think that's, um, I think that that's a uh, less ethical. They're journalists. That's true. That's the only that look, listen, if you want the only acceptable counter to what, what I'm saying is right. It is less legal. It is not fair use. It, it, um, it is not a critical use of their work. It's not a sharing alike like, uh, XQC does. I am right both ethically and I am right. Um, in terms of the law. And if you want to disagree with me and just say, fuck it, they don't deserve shit. Then just be honest about that and just say they're journalists and it's YouTube and I don't give a fuck, but don't try to say it's actually, it's actually fine what he did. Uh, cause that's wrong. <laughs> I am right again. Sorry. Not sorry. Dude, the Sims, it, it, it is a thing where you can't evaluate the fact that because it came from H bomber guy and it's against internet historian, that no, actually, it is it is not acceptable to steal other people's writing and to pass it off as your own for profit. Uh, it's it's not an okay thing to do. You learn this in, in elementary school. Uh, most people do, uh, unless you're, I guess, a uh, communist. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.